Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Unger. Baylor has officially released a report that it commissioned on the university's racial history after the Board of Regents wanted that done. The report does not comment on the removal of statues there on campus, including, including the one featuring Baylor's namesake of Judge R.E.B. Baylor. But instead, it wants to tell the history that is lacking there on campus. It wants to provide more context. The report also mentions that the university should make it a priority to honor people of color who have contributed to its history. The president of the university, Linda Livingstone, says although the report focuses on the time of slavery, it does have an overall well-rounded sense of the past and we need to highlight those who've been forgotten. We know we've got to build out that fuller history even past that and also with regard to some of our other minority groups on campus. The 26 commission members met weekly starting in July to create the 94-page Commission on Historical Campus Representation. Baylor recently did a conversation series about slavery in America. The final session actually last week covered the historical findings of the commission. The school said having the discussions before the report was released would give the Baylor family an opportunity to have all of that information the commission also had. Police are investigating a threat against Whitney ISD. The school district making that announcement on Facebook saying local law enforcement was handling the situation. A specific school was not named, but we know several parents did pick up their kids early as a precaution. 